What's up, Ron Carter here, and I have a super unpopular opinion that I wanna share with you today. Content, creating content like what I'm doing right now is actually not for growing an audience. It's not for growing an audience, it's not for growing a following, it's not for growing some type of personal brand. That is not the point of content. And stick around for just a couple minutes and I'll explain exactly what the point of creating content is. But first, I wanna dispel some myths because there's so many people that I see that are creating content because they're like, I need to grow my following. That way I get more people clicking on my links, more people going into my funnel, going into my system, getting on my email list. And that is not what content is for. And if you're making content specifically to accomplish those goals, you are missing out on sales. You're literally stepping over $100 bills to get the pennies. That's what you're doing. And so let me explain what I mean by this. Growing your personal brand and getting people opting into your funnels, opting into your email list, even getting people reaching out to buy from you, those are all things that do happen over time from making content. But that is not the inherent goal of content, at least not when you're starting out. If you're already huge, you've got a huge brand, you're getting tons of sales from a different way, then it makes sense to make content just for that purpose. But if you're just starting out, or you're, you get some sales here and there, it's sporadic. You don't really know like what you did to get the sales and you definitely can't repeat it. The goal of content is to actually identify leads for you. Your content helps you identify leads. That way you can manually reach out to those leads, start a conversation with them, and see if they are somebody that you can help with your offer, your service, whatever it is that you have, and then sell them that. You sell them that in the DMs. That's what content is for when you're just getting started. Well, the way that your content needs to work for this to happen, the way that you need to position yourself in your content is as somebody who knows what they're talking about. You, you, you talk about things, you share tips, you share things that would have been helpful for you along the journey. You basically make the content that you wish that you had before you knew what you know now. This video is an example of that. I wish that I knew this years ago. When you make content like that, you get people following you and you get people that are like looking forward to your advice. They engage on your content, they like it, or they heart it, or whatever platform it's on, they engage on it, they comment on it. And if it's on a platform that's not YouTube, if it's on Instagram, if it's on TikTok, if it's on Facebook, you can get into an individual conversation with those people. You could see exactly who liked your stuff, who commented on your stuff, and then you could message them. That's what the content is for. I'm gonna give you a little bit of statistics just kind of off the top of my head, but this is why we prefer, why I prefer to use this method for getting sales with content, especially when I'm just starting out and don't have a big following. Most people are making content so that they can get people to a website, to a funnel, or, or to some sort of link, their link in bio, or whatever that is. Now, those websites, they usually convert anywhere between one to 3% of visitors. And that's actually like a really good conversion rate. So that means when 100 people land on the page, one to three of them put their name and their email in and even see the next page. One to three out of 100. So you gotta get 100 clicks on, on your link to get one to three people to actually like move to the next step after they land on your page. If you have multiple steps before they have to buy, well, that, that number goes down and down because out of those one to three people, it's still a percentage that lands on the sales page and then buys it. So if you, are, if you are literally just relying on your content to send people through your funnel or through your ecosystem, your content needs to be generating you thousands and thousands and thousands of clicks per day if you want to be getting sales every day using that method. And I'm not saying that that's not possible, it definitely is, but it takes time. You have to get really good at content, grow a following to get all those people clicking on your stuff. Let's look at the other side of things. Sales conversations in the DMs. When people are actually responding and they go through the whole conversation with you, you could expect to convert somewhere around 20 
to 30, sometimes 20 to 50% of the people that engage with you throughout that whole conversation, the people that keep messaging you back. So that means that let's say that you had 100 people just engaging on your content. They didn't even click any links. They didn't have to, even though the link is there just in case they didn't click on it. They're just engaging on your content. You get into a sales conversation with them and let's say, uh, so out of a hundred people, you start a hundred conversations. Let's say that half of them respond back to you only half, right? So that means you're in, you're in 50 separate conversations with people. Well, 20 to 30% of those 50 people will end up buying your thing. 20 to 30%. That's 10 to 15 people, 10 to 15 out of those 50. So this is just a math equation. It's like, what can you get to faster? Can you get 50 people engaging on your stuff every day faster than you can get 5,000 people clicking a link on their own? Like what's going to be the faster option, right? And, and so that's why this, if you're brand new or if you're just starting out and by just starting out, I mean like you haven't been doing this for like 10 years, right? Um, I consider myself just starting out and I'm at year five to six of this. So if that's where you're at with this, your content is strictly to help you generate conversations because you're going to learn from those conversations. You're going to make offers and they convert at a higher percentage. So think about it like this. All the content is for is to help you generate conversations. If you have so many conversations going on in the DMs that you can't even keep up with it, like don't worry about taking time out of your day to make content for that day. Like just have to handle those conversations because there's, there's money in there, right? In those conversations. And then once you see that the conversations are starting to dwindle down and you need to start some new ones, go make some content. So that way you have people engaging on that content and you're able to start new conversations with them. And you do this day in and day out, you start getting sales a lot faster and you're still growing an audience and a personal brand and all of that stuff. You're just doing that as a byproduct of the thing that you're already doing to get sales. Hope that helps. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions. More than happy to answer whatever. Um, see you in the next one.